it is time. Time for a little uh, eBay action and the lone eBay action for the day. 2017-18 Donner's Optic Basketball Fast Break 5 Box Break, number 55. Uh, again, for eBay. So here we go. What's up, Greg? Not sure if you heard the news, man, but I got a pretty sick promo going in the store. Every purchase made uh, from midnight uh, earlier today up until 10 p.m. Eastern Time, which is about five hours from now, every purchase you make is going to get you an entry uh, for today's promo of $400 being given away. First place gets $200, second place gets $100. Third and fourth place get 50 each for a total of $400 being given away. Uh, whether you buy a team through the store or you get into a filler, you will be eligible for the giveaway. But it's only until 10 o'clock. doing five of these there are five right there boom let's knock this thing out let me take a sip of this water right quick let's do it good luck everybody Uh, Greg, uh, maybe that was Jason, because I, I did not uh, reply to any emails today, except for Kim. So that must have been Jason. He was in here earlier today. I'm going to keep blasting that promo. Like every 30 minutes, I'm going to make a post on Facebook and Twitter. Correct, Louise. Correct. So if you buy into Cornerstones, whether you get a team in a filler or you just buy a team through the store... I will give you three entries for every team you buy in Cornerstones. All right, because I, I really want to get rid of that already. And we only have 13 teams left. And they're all at least $50. So let's knock that thing out. Every team you get, I'll give you three spots in tonight's giveaway. Cornerstones only. And of course, all these promos are only for purchases made on our website, ripcitycards.com. Sorry, eBay. No promos for you. I mean, truth be told, you're kind of getting a sweet deal as it is, uh, having it being auction-based. All right. Let's see what we got here. Only one auto per box of this stuff. I'm not sure kids play. Uh, you might want to look up the checklist anytime you have a question like that, though. Especially when you're asking me about baseball, because uh, I suck at baseball. So, dude, man, just check. make sure you check the checklist, dude. That should be, like, the first thing you do, man. Anytime you have that question. I wish I could tell you off the top of my head, but I, I honestly don't know. We got Antoine Walker, Horror Celtics autograph. Jeremy Lin for the Nets to 183. Marcus O. Grizzlies to 155. Or you can ask J. Mess because J. Mess is like a walking encyclopedia.
Victor on the depot, the Pacers to 20. All right. That's one box down. Yeah, Otani is definitely the biggest hit in Bowman Chrome uh, 2018, by far. Not even close. Acuna's in there, too. This is true. Acuna's in it. Uh, Robles, I believe, is in there. Catman, Timberwolves to 85. The Heat lost a big game last night, man. Against the Magic. The Heat are out of the playoffs now. If the season were to end. Eight games left in the season. We can't afford to lose any more games. Or we will stay eliminated. Milos tail Dosic Clippers autograph. Reggie Jackson, Pistons to 193. All right. I know, right, Greg? Jamal Crawford, Timberwolves, to 155. I mean, we, we dude, we've been injury-plagued all year. And uh, we have a, one of our starters is out, Justice Winslow. He's been missing for, like, the last week or so with an injury. I mean, it's no excuse. You know, next man up and all that good stuff. I think we'll make the playoffs only to be eliminated in the first round by the Bucks, but still. The Heat need to get their shit together. We play the Mavericks tomorrow. Well, JMS, that's what we do, man. That's Heat basketball. Always blow leads. The Heat always blowing leads. Thank you, uh, Luis. Gotcha, Louise. Now you, now you should buy like the Hornets or something. That way, uh, you got six entries amongst the the two of you right there. Yeah, I mean we're only half a game back for the Magic, so all the Magic need to do is lose again, and we win, and we're back in the eighth spot. But the Magic dominated us all year, man. They, they won the season series 3-1. The Heat has just been wildly inconsistent. It 
If I'm being honest, the Heat do not deserve to be in the playoffs. The way we've been playing all year, we do not deserve to be in the playoffs. Just way too inconsistent. But I want to see it happen just so Dwayne Wade can go out in the playoffs. All right. I still think we have a chance to do that for him. We shall see. Big game tomorrow against the Mavericks. E.K. Onik Bogu, Pacers autograph to 20. Very nice. Very nice. Jeremy Lamb for the Hornets to 20. I think Pat Riley's going to make a move this offseason and trade a bunch of people, try to get uh, some big free agents in Miami over the summer. Marquise Chris for the Suns. That's to 183. And Nets have been playing good basketball all year, though. Kudos to them. They've been playing really good basketball for the most part all year. I think they'll definitely get in the playoffs. TJ Lee for the Pacers to 155. I think the Magic are going to be on the outside looking in when it's all said and done. Magic need to get rid of Vucevic, man. Like he, or at least Vucevic should try to get his way out of there because Magic are going nowhere. They're going nowhere fast. But Vucevic, low-key, is a beast. Double-double machine. Vucevic could put up 20 and 10, like, in a sleep. You know, I would love to see him play for, like, the Spurs. You know, a, a, a scrappy team like that. Or maybe, like, the Blazers. That would be, that would be a good fit. Vucevic is a beast, though. He, he's like a poor man's version of Nikola Jokic. You know what I'm happy about? I'm happy that now that, now that uh, the, the Lakers are officially eliminated from playoff contention... I love that the media just stopped talking about him. I'm so happy about that. I think Giannis is going to win MVP, man. Uh, I, I think Harden probably should get it. But more often than not, the best team, the usually, or I should say the best player on the best team with the best record is usually the player that wins MVP. With that being said, the Bucks will more than likely finish with the best record in the NBA. So, I think because of that, they're going to give it to Giannis. Do I think he deserves it? Probably not. Just because of how ball and Harden has been this year. He doesn't play a lick of defense, but that's fine. You know, Dan Tony has come out and said... He doesn't want him to play defense because he spends so much energy on offense. And quite frankly, if he tried to play defense, he'd probably injure himself. Marcus Morris, 155 Celtics. How about the Celtics kind of uh, coming apart there? Kyrie Irving is just a cancer, man. I've been trying to tell y'all forever, but nobody wants to listen to me. Kyrie Irving is probably the most overrated player in the NBA. And, man, the, the dude just lacks leader skills. I think it's safe to say that Kyrie 
is not the kind of player that deserves his own team. Channing Fry, Cavs autograph. You know, Irving is kind of like always the bridesmaid, never the bride kind of deal, you know? Klay Thompson, 193 Warriors. Like, he should be the second best player on a championship team. Like, that's his role. Or it should be, anyway. I was looking at Jason Tatum's number, like, since the All-Star break. Jason Tatum has been, uh, quite honestly, damn near non-existent since the All-Star break. Derek White spurs to 50. I think Devin Booker's going to, you know, find a way out of the Suns. Honestly, I think the Heat might make a move for him. I get a feeling. I don't know. I just get this feeling. The Suns are the Suns are a terrible franchise. Pat Riley is like the godfather of the NBA, and he's just gonna strong arm the Suns into giving him Devin Booker for a uh, for a PB and J and a TV guidebook. Jimbo, what up? If I haven't already said hi to you. Alrighty. Last box mojo. See what's here. I heard uh I heard Fernando Tatis got called up to the Padres. Uh is this true? I thought I read it somewhere that Tatis uh, got called up by the Padres. What's going on with you, Jimbo? Conor McGregor announced he's retiring. What's up, Aaron? Dude, I mean, let, let's be honest, Aaron. The Suns are probably the worst franchise in the NBA. Going nowhere fast. They probably have the worst front office in the entire NBA. So it would not surprise me if they traded Devin Booker for like a box of crayons and, uh, and, a, and a pencil sharpener or something, you know? Devin Booker would look nice in a heat uniform. He would look real nice. All right, anyway. Last box mojo. See what we got here. Ooh, a redemption. Save that for last. Could be big time. Lonzo Ball, Lakers to 155. I hear Lonzo Ball no longer with the Triple Bs. He is no longer associated with uh, the Big Baller brand. Or something like that, is what I heard. Dude, if Zion ends up in a Suns uniform, RIP to his career. Oh, my God. If I'm Zion, I would stay a year in college just so I, wouldn't, just so I don't have to play for the Suns. Like, literally, like, seriously. The Suns are terrible, bro. Like, terrible. Like, I, I, I don't even know where to start with the, with the Suns. Like, they have a lot of good talent. Like, on paper, they got talent. I think, I think they're, you know, they're, they're probably a head coach and some veteran players away from being... You know, the eighth seed in the West or something, but I don't know, man. The, the Suns don't seem to be doing anything to surround Devin Booker with talent. You know, there's some of their draft picks haven't panned out. Ben McLemore for the Grizzlies to 85. I'm telling you, man, Pat Riley's going to come by with an offer you can't refuse. Devin Booker going to be in a Heat uniform next year. Malcolm Brogdon of the Bucks to 183. Who you know who I really want? This guy. 
I was literally going to call him out, and he's the last card here. I would love to see Damian Lillard in the Heat uniform. That's another player that should request out because Blazers are going nowhere, especially with uh, with that injury that Nurkic recently got. That team is going nowhere fast. Anyways. Well, you know, eventually uh, a dog will have his day, Aaron, you know. Anyways. Last hit here, the last auto, Redemption Style. Who does it belong to? It is Tony Bradley, uh, who I believe is a jazz player. Uh, let me look up the checklist real quick, though, because I, I don't want to uh, be incorrect. This is 1718. Let's find this thing. With the old control F. Tony Bradley is in G's a ja uh, in G's is indeed a jazz player. So there you go, jazz. And uh, let's recap this thing, shall we? So the autographs are Tony Bradley Jazz, the rated rookie signature fast break redemption. Channing Fry of the Cavaliers. E.K. Anikbogu, Pacers to 20. Milos Teldosic for the Clippers. And TP Toe 3, Antoine Walker for the Celtics. Very nice. And that's it for the for the uh, eBay breaks. Thank you very much. We'll get it out.